I gotta watch this first. What is this? A series of ambitious skyscrapers rise up, each competing to claim the title of tallest in the world. The Chrysler Building becomes the first man-made structure to breach a thousand feet. This is interesting. I love those. A leading example of Art Deco architecture that remains iconic to this day. This is rare footage of its famous eagles being installed on the 61st floor. That looks so sketchy. Like the Statue of Liberty, they're thinner than they seem. Dude, what the fuck is happening here? The working men who construct the buildings, known as roughnecks, are a special breed. Jesus, they work dude. Harnesses, safety ropes, or hard hats. Spending eight hour shifts in the clouds with no bathroom breaks. Damn, dude. Workers fling red hot rivets by hand through the air. Holy fuck! They what now? It's by hand. Workers fling red hot rivets by hand through the air. These jobs are so dangerous that two out of five fall to their deaths or end up disabled. Across town on 34th Street, construction begins on an enormous 102 floor office building intended to be a symbol of New York's wealth and power. Former New York Governor Al Smith actively promotes the construction. As fast as human ingenuity, brains, and ability can bring it about, there will tower around this corner the Empire State Incorporated, the largest office building in the world. Jesus, dude. Some of those buildings probably had like, well, like, got like 40 deaths, dude. Because with how long and how big those things are, dude. What is that, like, like 50, 40 kills per fucking buildings? They're the unknown. Way man. more. Jesus. They're the unsung heroes of construction. Their attitude, I think their casualness, the indifference to the risk that they're taking is what separates the photograph. If you see the picture once, you never forget it. Jesus, dude. This photograph, which is known around the world, shows 11 men sitting on a beam about 800 feet above the city of New York. You can see Central Park in the background, see buildings below, and they're casually sitting there, one right next to the other, eating their lunch. And they're all construction workers, and they came from all over the world. There are Irishmen. There are Mohawk Indians. You see the Minecraft sometimes. It's a mixed bag of people, and they're all working in 1931-32. This is Pog. Well, not, it's not it's... The image first appeared in the New York Herald Tribune on October 2nd, 1932. The Herald Tribune was a major New York publication. Okay. And it, I think that generated an enormous amount of excitement about what was going on. They were getting as much publicity as they possibly could in any office that was rented, whether you were a dentist it's history, or, a it's cool video, or a major oh, they, did it. they would get you into the news. Rockefeller put a quarter of a million people to work in the middle of the Depression. There were truckers, there were people in quarries, people making windows, different kinds of people, but it that really looks made a so serious unsafe. Effect. Like what the fuck? people making windows, different kinds of people, but it really had a serious effect on the economy. And that was the attitude, very, very positive towards the future, very positive towards America, very positive towards business. The funniest part about the photographs were they were done for publicity. 
So you'll have stunts, like this fellow Joseph McCloskey holding a flag up that seems to be- Guys, a you guys think weird chat mentioned like that chat, but I think what people need to understand is that times are, when times are different, you can't take one instance out of context in our current society and say, wow, that's really weird. Because if everything is like that at the time, then nobody's gonna be like, like the one to be out of the box. It's like if somebody, it's like if today, like some big corporate had like, uh, I don't know, you get what I mean. Attached to the top of the Empire it's just, State. It just doesn't make sense. That's called presentism. The other pictures also show men riding the final block of stone up, going to celebrate putting the last stone in place. We do have a photograph taken the same day, and what I call the hats off picture, shows them looking at the camera and saying, look at us. They're so proud of themselves. You know, there's a real sense of pride and accomplishment. And I think that's also what all the pictures show, the pride the guys had in their work. And they're ripped, dude. There are a couple of photographers who were present that day. William Leftwich, Charles Evitz, and Thomas Kelly, who had to have a death wish. And they would have on their back a leather container that contained the glass plates, and they would actually switch them out. I think that they like to show off next to the construction workers. Well, you guys walk these beams, but so can we. We take risks, too. That's a good video. The question of the names of all these men comes up frequently. Who are these men? Sweaty, because just... on the back of the photograph, they're not identified. Guys, for some reason, every time I, I, I'm at a height, or, I'm, or I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm on a cliff, when I look, I feel this, this weird, contained urge to jump off. But not in a, in a bad way, just, I, I think it's human nature. I, I, it's like, um, not, not in the way you think I'm, I'm, I'm saying it, but it, it, it's a weird thing, I think it, it, there's science about it. We have people who have claimed that they're their uncle, or their relative. You know what I mean though? But most of them are either good guesses or plain guesses. Yeah, there's a Vsauce to do on that. I think it's kind of sad that they're not recognized because everybody else gets a credit and yet the people who actually have built the building are forgotten. And then I, I start losing trust in myself. I'm like, dude, what if my brain turns off the for one second? that they are immortalized in this picture. And I lose judgment. And they are the guys who risked their lives building this building. And then it scares me. And I think that's what's important about the picture is that it places them in history as being important in the development of New York City and Rockefeller Center and gives a great deal of credit to a group that basically goes uncredited. It's called the Call of the Void. This is interesting. Golden capper check, 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 golden Okay, but we're not gonna watch that. Guys, that type of voice of video, it just annoys the fuck out of me. And it's not, it's not rude, it's just, it's just the truth. Okay, something like this, what is this? QCM. Guys, it's when the video starts. Video starts, boom. Yeah, oh, guys, oi, 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 go on, Jay. I said, I saw it. Oh, man, shut up. This asshole cut me off, made me swerve it. Sir, XQCM. with all due respect, I was in the bicycle lane, and you came around like a madman. Let's just be glad nobody was hurt. I mean, yeah. somebody could have done it's like my intro. You came to me. Oh, okay, real mature, sir. Real mature. I would you like to thank you for the What are you, Bionic? No, 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 no. I only like the girls. Thanks, anyways. 
don't think I've ever seen that movie before, dude. Okay. Guys, I, I, I didn't get the joke. Cause I didn't get it. What are you? Bionic? No, I only like the girls. I don't... Oh, I get it now. Oh, okay, that's not it. Okay, that's, that's decent. It's whatever. Why people happy smile? Blum, 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 blum.